Hi, I'm Chase Stanton. I'm the station manager here at SCTN, and today I'm joined by Art Trent from the Selene Chamber of Commerce, and we're going to talk about some upcoming events that the Chamber is involved with, uh, as well as some other topics. So thank you for coming in. My pleasure, believe me. Um, so right off the bat, because when this video gets out, it's going to be pretty close, the Chamber Golf Outing is coming up. The Chamber Golf Outing is an annual uh, event that we have. Um, it's our major fundraiser. Um, it helps us keep our dues um, for our membership relatively low in comparison to other chambers in and around the area. Um, it's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. Uh, the golf outing is on to, uh, June 13th. It's a Friday, and uh, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we all dinner is steak dinner, by the way. Oh. And we also have Banana Foster. And for those of you that have never experienced Banana Foster, it is probably one of the premier desserts going. And uh, we have that between the first and the tenth hole. And it's not uncommon for people to double dip. So they get it at the first hole and they get it at the tenth hole. And that's okay. But, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good dessert. So. And uh, where will the outing be taking place? It's going to take place at Stonebridge. <clears throat> and we'll start about 10 o'clock. And uh, it's a scramble. And so after the uh, golf is done, then we have um, the opportunity to uh, mix and mingle. And we also have uh, a number of really great raffle prizes. And uh, <laughs> I brought one of them along today. It's a tailor-made driver that one of our members donated and uh, I uh, took the opportunity to look online to see what this little baby cost and it's uh, 300 Wow and so that's just one of our major raffle prizes that we have which is really nice um, I brought a list along of some of the other ones that I just wanted to chat about for a minute Zippy car wash is going to give us a car wash pass for a year which means that you could wash your car every day with this same pass. So Zippy's uh, a real good member of the uh, chamber. We also have Tiger Coaches Autograph Baseball. And <clears throat> last year we had some zero gravity relaxing chairs and we have them back again this year. So that doesn't include, um, we have rounds of golf at various local golf courses and also some overnight stays at some of the local hotels. Plus, we have some U of M tickets, some Tiger tickets, etc. So we have a pretty good list of raffle prizes. Definitely, and people can't see, but I can see the list from here. There's many more than even yeah. just what you listed. Um, uh, one of the other things that what I'm trying to promote this year is called our VB division. And for those of us that don't shop, or at least in those circles anyway, VB stands for Vera Bradley. And so for an all women's foursome, the one with the lowest score, we have some VB prizes. So that should be interesting. I've never done that before, but women's golf is probably on the increase where men's golf is kind of declining a little bit. Um, I think it's a great opportunity if we can get a couple more women's foursomes for our, our VB division. <laughs> so. Definitely. And and as you mentioned, it's also a great opportunity to meet different people from the city yep. uh, professionally and just in a social atmosphere. Yeah, it, it's a good opportunity and uh, it's a lot of fun. I know the, the price is a little bit uh, pricey, but it's still in comparison. It's cheaper than a lot of uh, the local golf outings. And so we're hopeful that we can get a few more foursomes. Uh, right now, I'd like to shoot for around 100. And we're getting close, but we're not there yet. So. And again, the date and time for that were? It's June 13th, and it's at Stonebridge, and it starts about 10 o'clock. And so anyway, uh, if you are able to play or you would like to play and don't have a foursome, we can match you up. Uh, if you have a foursome, then obviously we'll have you as that foursome. So. Great. Uh, a little further into the summer, we have Summer Fest as well as Summer Music Series. Yeah. Summer Music Series starts third. Uh, it's a Thursday event, and um, I think it's the twelfth that, that starts. And uh, there's a, and then it proceeds through the rest of the summer. Seven o'clock uh, out on South Ann Arbor Street. We have a really good list of um, entertainment um, 
including the Celine Fiddlers, um, the Celine Big Band, which is our local band, and um, they're going to be um, let, led off by a group called Wannabe, which is something that I think will appeal to a lot of kids. And so, and then it carries on right through the end of the summer. And so we have. Uh, a number of good bands that we haven't seen before and uh, look, are looking forward to it, so. And for anyone who hasn't been to it, it's a big event. Downtown's blocked it's, off. It's South Ann Arbor Street, it's free, uh, and you get to enjoy uh, not only the music, but you know, being outside and there's opportunities uh, if you would like to visit some of the local restaurants there. They uh, also have specials and you're able to take it right out on the street and sit there and enjoy having um, something to eat and listening to some really great music. So That's great. And then the, the big summer event is Summerfest. Summerfest is August 8 and 9. Um, August 8th is um, roughly 5.30 to 11. Um, we have 56 days as the major band. Uh, we have 40 some artists. They'll be on South Ann Arbor Street. We always obviously have some liquid refreshments and uh, also some food from the Lions, from the Kiwanis, um, from Dan's Downtown Tavern, um, Benito's Pizza, uh, Mangiamo's Pizza, all those will be out on South Ann Arbor Street uh, and in the parking lot during uh, Friday. On Saturday we have a full slate of events, um, the car show and uh, a number of other different activities. The band is um, Phoenix Theory. Okay. And they're, they're a, a really good band. A number of the band members were from 56, or 50 Amp Fuse, which uh, they have now migrated to this new band. And so um, I think the biggest thing on Saturday, as far as food goes, is our local fire department does chicken, chicken dinner and uh, proceeds are there go to help the firemen buy new equipment and things like that. They will be out there from about 11 o'clock until they sell out and uh, that's usually around 2 o'clock and so 500 chicken dinners and then they're done. So, um, a new event for the Summerfest this year, uh, we will have a bike ride. It's not a race, it's a bike ride. 15, 36 and I think 60 miles and they're going to be south of Saline, down towards Milan and back. We will have free bike parking, not only for the people who participate in the race, but if you want to ride your bike to Summerfest, there will be a place for you to park your bike that will be secure and uh, relatively close by. And so we're hoping that people will take advantage of that, that haven't taken advantage of it in the past year. So. That's great. Uh, and you said there's also possibly a sports tournament? Yeah, we um, are trying to put together a three-on-three, -three, um, which will be down at Henny Field. Um, it's not complete yet, but uh, we're still working on it. And the other thing that I met last night with the group is um, the opportunity to be up close and personal with um, the rowing club's boats. And uh, right now we're trying to do that off McKay Street. Again, um, Summerfest is a conglomerate of everything and <laughs> everyone, and uh, we have sometimes between three and 5,000 people there. And it's, uh, it's coming together. And there really is something for everyone. Yeah, we're trying to have something for everyone. Uh, kids games down at Henny Field. This year we're gonna have kids artist displays down at Henny Field. And, uh, that's something new and I look forward to that. We, we have seen what the kids can do with the banners around town and uh, I think they did a great job and, and just the little color to some of the things that we have seen on the light poles for years. So. Uh, and before we go we also mentioned before the show that um, the chamber with the lights. Uh. Um, we're working on what we had to take the lights out of the trees last year um, the trees grow, um, the salt, the wind, the truck spray, etc. Um, LED lights last 100,000 hours, but unfortunately the wiring between the lights has a finite life. And we repair them every year, but uh, it 
just got to a point where we couldn't repair them anymore, so we took them out. Taking them out cost money. Um, the city was kind enough to prune a lot of the trees, which helps a lot because it makes the crown or the, the ball smaller. We bought 50,000 lights, those are paid for. Now I gotta put the lights back in the trees. And uh, as of today, I'm about 13,000 short of putting lights in every tree in the downtown area, which would be Michigan Avenue, North and South Ann Arbor Street. I think it looks really good um, during the winter months to see all those lights going on, especially when it's kind of dark outside and the days are shorter and so. Anyways, this is a project that we're working on. It's strictly a chamber project. It is not done through the city and all the donations are donations to a 501 uh, charitable organization. So. Uh, and where can people find out about donating to that? You can go online uh, to the Chamber's website or call the Chamber at 429-4494. I had to think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also the stop for any of the events we talked about before. So On the Chamber's website, everything is there. Uh, if you need more information, either go online or call us and we'll be happy to give you whatever you are requesting. Great. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, and for anyone watching, make sure to check out any of the events, and if you appreciate the lights downtown, definitely donate. Cause... Yeah, I, it's, it's, uh, there's an opportunity for, you know, to dedicate a specific tree to an individual or to a loved one who's passed. We have a number of those. We will put little plaques on each of the trees for the person who donated it, and also if you want to recognize somebody, we can do that also. Great. Uh, well, it's a great opportunity. Again, lots of fun, different things to do over the next coming months. So thank you again for coming in, Art. I My pleasure. It. I really appreciate your time. So. Oh, thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yep. Thank you.